This WWE Network is no goddamn joke. I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be an industry changer. I didn't think I was really going to need to come up here and do a commentary after they announced the WWE Network because I figured no big deal. But after seeing that insane Apple-like presentation of the WWE Network and what it's all about and how it's going to work and what the cost is and all the details about it, uh, what's that fucking condition called where you have an erection that lasts longer than four hours? I think I need to go to the doctor. I mean, holy shit, are you serious? This is why the WWE will never die. This is an amazing vision, and it's flat-out fucking genius, and this is why the WWE always has their finger on the trigger when it comes to expanding their brand. This was the next logical step. Instead of streaming Raw live and pay-per-views live on shitty websites, you know, this is a place where you can go to access all your WWE content, and WWE is brilliant. They figured thousands, millions of fans uh, are on the internet watching WWE content anyway on YouTube. YouTube from people who upload videos, you know, and Daily Motion and all these other websites uh, that fans can go to to watch old pay per views and old shows. The WWE probably said to themselves, fuck, these fans are online watching this shit anyway. We might as well be the ones to provide them with the content since we own the shit anyway. WWE owns the entire history of the business. This is how brilliant Vince McMahon is. This is why they started buying up videotape libraries in the first place. I think they had this idea 12 years ago before video on demand was really popular before Netflix or Hulu even existed yet. When they were in that really heavy acquisition mode of, you know, acquiring every tape library they could, you know, as soon as they bought WCW, from there it was ECW, it was AWA, it was WCCW, it was UWF, it was Georgia Championship Wrestling, Florida Championship Wrestling, Smoky Mountain, all sorts of shit. You name it, they went after it and bought it with this exact idea in mind because they knew that one day in the future they very well could have their very own platform that will provide their content to their audience without having to rely on TV deals and contracts and networks and all that shit. I mean, this is fucking brilliant. And this is all assuming, of course, this all goes off without a hitch. You know, there's no technical difficulties. Remember the Obamacare website had all those problems. As long as the WWE is able to roll this thing out with no issues, this is a fucking unbelievable deal. And I'm almost wondering how long it's going to take for the price of this thing to increase. But right now, the WWE only wants $9.99 a month. Ten fucking bucks. For this ten bucks, you can watch every single pay-per-view per year on the WWE Network for no additional charge. Pay-per-views that cost $40, $50, $60, $70 sometimes, you're now getting for virtually nothing, 10 bucks a month, and you get to watch them all. That right there is an unbelievable deal because I myself purchase a stream currently right now. I've been using Big Events TV, which is a great website. I watch all the pay-per-views on there, and I've never had any problems, and the, and the pay-per-views cost me about $7. So it's an extremely cheap stream, and it's worth the 7 bucks not to have to risk it on a shitty website for free that might lag or cut in and out or lose power or anything like that. This is an extremely reliable stream, and I've never really had a problem with it, but still, you know, I'd much rather watch this on the WWE website when the WWE is running things and things are a little more sharper. They're also going to have every pay-per-view available on this thing. Every one. WCW, ECW, WWE. Every pay-per-view in fucking history is going to be on this thing. Now, I think that explains why we heard the internet story a few days back about the Chris Benoit footage being played on the WWE Network. This is great. I'm glad they're doing this. I'm glad they felt like they didn't have to omit all of those great pay-per-views that Chris Benoit participated on uh, because of what he did. That's a lot of shows. That's a lot of Raws, a lot of Smackdowns, a lot of pay-per-views, a lot of big, important title matches and moments and I'm glad that they are going to include those in the network because otherwise they would lose a lot of pay-per-views unless they just edit it out as matches. And that's another thing I actually have a big issue with. We'll have to see how the WWE Network goes and how truly uncensored and unedited those shows are. I've been a psychotic tape trader and footage collector my whole life and I almost prefer the uncut straight from TV versions a lot of these Raws because I know commentary is not going to be edited, matches aren't going to be edited, theme music's not going to be edited, and uh, on a lot of the WWE pay-per-view releases that they've done on DVDs, you know, sometimes they cut out commentary on some of those old WrestleManias. You don't even hear Jesse Ventura's voice. They changed all the theme music up so they didn't have to pay any fucking royalties. So I'm curious on the editing side of things, how complete these shows are actually going to be and how intact and uncut they're going to make them. 
I'm also curious about the ads. Are we going to have a 30-second ad in front of all of these videos like you do on YouTube? The WWE is going to have to sell ad space on this network, I'm guessing. I thought it was cool how they had, you know, uh, John Cena, Stone Cold, DX all came out and did some little promos promoting uh, the network on that great presentation. I just can't say enough about even the WWE's press conferences have a fucking titantron. But I remember Shawn Michaels saying something to the effect of, you know, if I would have had this as a kid, I would have never gotten off the fucking couch. And it just, it, to me, it's almost a bittersweet moment because I think of how long, how many man hours, how much time in my life I spent throughout the years as a young man, all the way up until present day, buying, selling, and trading tapes worldwide with complete fucking strangers all over the place, working so hard with no internet and no way to easily find anything. You had to rely on magazines, you had to rely on pen pals, you had to rely on friends and people you could just trade tapes with and send shit all over the place and, you know, and basically take these risks uh, just to acquire some footage that now can be accessible at a click of a button. You can virtually carry WWE's entire videotape library in your pocket. That is insane. So above anything else, uh, somebody like me who's an older wrestling fan that's been watching for so many years, the technology alone is what's blowing me away here. And I'm not sucking the WWE's dick. I would applaud any company that had the vision to pull off something this extreme, especially when you think back to where the WWE came from, how they started, the road they've taken to get to this point. I remember a time when Vince McMahon was on trial with the federal government. His house shows and Raws were drawing less than 100 people, and we didn't know if the WWE was going to be able to stay alive. And that was a mere 20 years ago. Look at where they are now. When I think back to the depths of despair that the WWE was in in 1994, you fast forward to 2014, and I look at that presentation that they gave in Las Vegas unveiling the WWE Network. Holy shit. I could have never in a million years envisioned that they would be this successful and become this this huge. So if you hate this network, just shut up. You're stupid. You can't take down the machine. You might as well join the machine because the machine ain't going anywhere. I just thought that was kind of funny. But anyway, we'll talk more about the WWE Network in the upcoming weeks once we get more details on it. We uh, just hear more about it in general. Like I said, I don't want to get too excited about it, do too many jumping jacks, or lick the WWE's asshole too hard quite yet because the network hasn't even launched yet. But on paper, it looks like this thing is going to be a huge success. And when you think about how long they've been working on it, I mean, they announced the WWE network a few years ago. So this has been a top priority and they have put a lot of time and effort and money into this project and on top of that have probably created quite a few jobs. And the WWE knows how to do things right. Their level of production is second to none in the world of entertainment. It's going to be huge, absolutely huge. And as a lifelong wrestling fan, I'm almost proud to see it get to this point that pro wrestling has reached, you know, this level. Yes, it's a fucked up business. Yes, it's not what it used to be. But times change, things evolve, and that's the fucking reality. And now with this new genius idea of the WWE, if you miss the old days and you wish it still was the old days, guess what? Take your ass right over to the WWE Network and relive those old days. Until next time, peace.